Hey everybody, welcome to a little sneaky uh, Christmas chess. It's uh, like 9.44 a.m. Christmas morning. Um, I, I'm supposed to be feeding the baby. I'm supposed to be doing baby stuff. The baby's having the greatest sleep of her life. I've been awake for like two hours and the baby is just off in dreamland. I keep going up and like to the bedroom and then I'm like, uh, maybe she's fussing, but she's just loving her little baby dreams right now. So let's play a little chess. Um... I'm I'm eager to play some chess, okay? Because we played um, with Gotham Chess again yesterday. We played with Levy Rosman. Now, this is an interesting little gambit here. The old Benoni defense, of course. Old, old Ben Benoni. Um, we got 10 minutes, so I'm trying to think about this. I was trying to implement some of the stuff that, that Levy was talking about yesterday. So we started with this, which would indicate that maybe, um, again, this is not how your mouse works, but it would indicate maybe we would go into the London defense or, uh, I guess, the London attack. But what do we care? Because we've already got this gambit going. We don't really care to defend this pawn. Are we going to try to control the center? It's a long time to spend on your second move, but uh, or your third move, but I don't think I've ever seen the old Benoni defense, so... I hope you'll uh, you'll cut me some slack here. Um, for the time being, let's do something like this. I don't know. That's that's a lot of work to do to come up with a, a not genius move afterwards. I will just like openly admit I, I don't really know where we go from here. Um, they're gonna fianchetto the bishop in all likelihood. Do we prefer an e three, or do we prefer an e four? It's going to be really hard to defend this pawn if it gets out here. Um, and we... I meant to take that to e4. But you know what? I think e3 is also fine. <laughs> we'll develop the bishop to, to d3. I don't, I don't consider myself to be at a, like an advantage or a disadvantage right now, so to speak. Um, I, obviously, we don't like the you know what's going to happen with this right here. And I think that they have a good developing um, <clears throat> queenside attack, so we would probably, as usual, castle kingside. Um, their king is pretty defended. I don't know what's going on with this this pawn over here. We just choose not to think about it for a while, I suppose. Probably shouldn't be taking too much time here, but again, we don't really know uh, what we're doing. It's almost like... Um, okay, well, they, they take the pawn. Okay, so you know maybe we consider doing something like this. They're going to take the pawn with the queen. Is there anything... Do we even want to defend it, I guess, is, is one of the things I would ask. Like, that is kind of a vulnerable pawn if we can do something about it. Maybe we... I don't know. Do we like to fianchetto our own bishop? Maybe with something like this. They take. We take. Then the, the bishop is a little vulnerable. I think I'd rather have the pawn be vulnerable. Um... So, like, believe it or not, I'm actually going to push this, I think. And then we will develop the bishop. And I don't know. Like, I honestly, I think I would prefer black's position here. I think they got me a little bit um, twisted up. With the, a, an opening I've never seen before, which is kind of what you're looking for, right? So, what do we do? Um, we'd like to... I mean, everything's fine. We're, we're at a, maybe a positional disadvantage. Um, we'd like to attack some of the weak points... These two pawns in particular. This one obviously is like heavily defended right now. Um, this one though is a it's defended, but it's kind of harder to defend in the future. So you feel like the bishop will probably be developed. Um, I think in all likelihood they're gonna want to put it on g4. So let's not let that happen. There's a little bit of like a reactive move, but it does really impede their uh, bishop's ability to function. I don't want to trade. Um, we have to really watch out for this, obviously. I don't really want to... Hold on. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just lose a piece? Here's, here's the line I don't like. I think I just lost a piece by being a fool. Hold on. There might... <laughs> oh, uh, not, not a good line. Okay. That's why you, you try to think about things uh, before you be doing them. So one way we can get out of this, you start to think about something like this, okay? Where do they go? What if they go here? What do we do? We take. What if they go here? 
We go here, we get some initiative. Okay, um, so I think actually they're going to go for the fork. We might get out of this. I'm very glad we did that earlier. So we've got a, this pawn defended. And then it's very simple. You do this. Why, why did I think we take the pawn? Now that I think about it, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, this actually is still bad. <laughs> we couldn't have done this because you just get taken. But um, I wonder, could we get away with that? And then this, and then I don't. I still don't know where we're going here. Like I, I would do this trade if they want to trade bishop for like they. Let me walk it through. They would do this. I do this. They do this. Everyone goes fork, fork. It's a fork. Be careful. It's not a fork. You just take it. Um. All right. So have we done? Have we accomplished anything? Not really. But now we're still we're keeping the queen on the move. Um. And I, I still like I don't know what the plan is here, but. We probably should do what we always tell ourselves to do, which is to uh, actually just take your losses instead of feeling like, you know, you, you got to constantly double down. Surely I, I can admit that we've made a mistake here. Um, and the mistake is going to it's going to leave us down two points. At the end of the day, we would rather lose a knight than a bishop. So I think we accept that they do this, and then we do that, and then we put some pressure on this right here. It's not ideal. Obviously. It should be readily apparent, but it's not the end of the world. And you know what? I'm, I'm at least happy with myself that I kind of saw the line right after I did it. It seemed like a clever move at the time, um, but only if you're looking literally zero moves ahead. I definitely, you know, being a knight down is bad, obviously, but I wouldn't consider it like a colossal failure. Um, we got we to gotta think about what we do next. What's our plan? Well, we do have a, a nice little pawn pushed out over here. I actually, um, so I don't want to take, like here, that's very stupid. However, if we can get the queen off of this file or off of this diagonal, I just have to walk it through because like there's a chance if this bishop doesn't move we could we could snag this rook okay so it looks like this take 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 what do they do probably something like that which doesn't leave me in a good spot so we say no um we say no to that this not very good um because I, I like i think that blows us out pretty hard uh we got plenty of time and when you're down you know maybe it's the right time to start uh <laughs> thinking about how you want to do things anyway. Um, I don't know. I do, like, I don't love this line. Because I think that it's very, it ends up being very, very strong for, for black. What about take, take this? No, because if they take, we still, like, we get got. It's not good. It's not a good play. Um, so, you know, like, this is possibly coming. I don't know. Now I'm like, dude, maybe we do this to keep this knight as uh, impotent as possible. They might also push the d-pawn, which I think we would have... I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say I accept it, but if they push the d-pawn, we let them take... We get the open rook... And we start to maybe consider attacking this uh, location there. So believe it or not, I'm actually going to do C3. Which seems like it does absolutely nothing. But we we actually have like a weird game plan. First off, if they push, we can just take. And then we get material. Um, secondly, we can move queen to B3. By moving queen to B3... If we ever open up, the, so we had a feeling this was coming. And we here's I don't mind. Like we could just do that. Um, and in fact, we could do this first, even. So we're gonna put some more pressure on this first, unless I'm missing something like obvious. I'm not sweating this. Obviously, I'm sweating the fact that we're down some material. I think we're going through like I would describe it as like growing pains right now. We we've. 
probably regressed in terms of our overall performance. But I'm trying to be a more entertaining... Like, Isaac is not zany right now. So I'm trying to be a more entertaining chess player. That's that's my lot in life. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to generate some interesting attacks now. Blundering uh, a piece away, we probably wouldn't consider that uh, particularly strong as far as uh, chess acumen goes. But I want to if we lose, let me put it this way: Would I rather be eighteen hundred and be like a mechanically good chess player, um, or would I rather be? I don't know what you're planning to do here. Probably like that. Um, so hold on, let me let me think about this. What if we do this? They probably think about defending this pawn again. Then we start to... I mean, like, I know you're like, the pin is nice, don't get me wrong. But what are we going to do? Like, we can't do that. I suppose if we wanted to, we could do this, and then this, this, this. But it's not great, right? Like, even if we trade, it's not so good. And now time is actually of the essence. So I think we probably do something like this real quick, just to put more pressure on this. Um, but would I rather be 1800 um, and be like very good at chess, but maybe play sometimes a more positional game? Or would I rather be 1500 and have these games where there's like wild swings up and down? I feel like I would rather be, fifth. well, I mean, when I'm not recording, I'd rather be 1800. <laughs> But when I uh, when I am recording, I'd rather be fifteen hundred, I think, and I, I'm, I say that with all sincerity. <clears throat> okay, so they we we left a pawn hanging for maybe like forever. Um, I do think about like this, right? They take, I take, right? Like I think this is this is just good. Maybe they do this, but I don't think that's that bad. They have a, something they'd like to defend here. Especially because we actually have a check, and then we take the rook. Um, which is not mate, by the way, because they do that. But is very nasty. No, actually, it would be it would be mate-esque. Check. Well, they, they would move there. Check. Not mate, but, but mighty, mighty nasty. Um... But yeah, I, I would rather generate these cool these cool attacks, I guess, and be a little bit like that's what I was talking with Levy about. I was like, Levy, I can close up the game, you know, at a, at an average level, and we could we could play draws where everybody, you know, we have one open file and everybody's just stacking pieces uh, in order to try to put some pressure on the file. Or like, I I want to play games where we maybe we sacrifice a piece early in order to blow up their king side. That that seems more interesting to me. So this is that's not what really happened this game. What happened in this game is I blundered and now I'm trying to pull myself back from the edge. Um, but either way, I, I, that's my that's my goal. The other thing, like, you need to know about chess is like, you actually just, no matter what, you pretty much have the same win rate, I guess. So I'd rather have a fifty percent win rate at a low level because <laughs> you, I think the games are more are more fun, less taxing. Anyway, you don't need to sweat it because you're going to regress to whatever level to begin with. All right, so here, what, what do I like from black? I like this. It's the best move, I think. What do we do? We probably take, take. We take with a check. Then they do have defense here. Oh, I need, we're going to need this one to, to finish up. I finally hear the baby fussing, which is just science. Um... I think we definitely do this now, which is fantastic for us. I still think like this is a huge win for us. Okay, so they're going to move their bishop to here, which is not good um, for us, obviously. But I, I'm like, do I actually care? And I know you're like, of course you care. Well, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> I definitely do care. Because, like, even if we do this, they still get the rook for the bishop, right? And what did we get? We got, I mean, we're equal in material right now, but... Um, there's no way we can really stop it, Ron. So what I would say is... I mean, I know that you're looking at, like, this, and then they do this, and then we do this, but I wouldn't... I don't actually think that's particularly good. 
So I'm just I'm just studying it. You know how dogs is and all that. Um, I imagine we're probably getting bishop to here regardless. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna move back slightly. We've we've made up for our material disadvantages earlier. Um, I think I just like this. And then we're going to do something like that. Now, time is time sucks. We want to, like, this and get some pressure on this back file. I don't really know. I guess they're going to do that next. Um, I wouldn't be stoked to see it. But if they do this, we could always just do this. And then they do that. And then we come over. You get you get the general idea. Um, so they're, they're putting a lot of pressure on this area, which makes a lot of sense. They will not take right now, or at least they should not take right now. I wonder what you're going to do. And I'm sorry, I can't reason the moves out as much as I'd like. Because um, times are a little tight. You're not going to go here. You're not going to go there. So you're probably going to go here. What if I take check? Like, I, I got I to gotta take it through. You go back. Take, check, dunka. No, it's horrible. Take, take, take. Extremely, extremely not good. On the other hand, what about now? Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Take, take. Check, take. Check, take. Take with check. We're up quite a lot, honestly. Hmm, that's a good move. It's a good move I didn't really see coming, honestly. Um, so we, we want you out of there. And again, like time's a little tight. <laughs> uh, I imagine like that's coming. So I'm going to try to close up this diagonal. You, If you want to take here, that's actually fine by me. You know, this pawn attack was probably coming at some point anyway. And this bishop, like, it's not doing nothing, but it's not doing a lot. I think it's either way, we would look at this as, like, a fun and good game. Um, all things considered here. We'll just move it back one. Actually, I would love the trade, because then we would just push in. We can't really get that knight out of there, though. I mean, like, we could do that, but that's not actually a threat. Like, take, take, check, check. They, they don't get mated. It would be awesome if they did, but they don't. So they, you, you know, you could choose to think of this in a couple of different ways. Do they have double our time? Yeah. On the other, on the other hand, one minute is one minute, right? You don't, you don't have a ton of time regardless. Interesting move. Um, so I, I see I see the, the threat here. Um, and I think if you want to take, we allow you to take now. Like if you want to take this, don't let me stop you. Then maybe we hit him with that. We're getting close to this cheeky play. <laughs> we need this bishop to, to kind of get out of the blocking position, and then we can do it. No, because then they could just move up, which is still not, uh, it's not very good for me. So I think here I love the block, and if you want to take, please do. I would, now, what do I like from them? Like, what if they did... Oh, but then, like... Ah, dude, I don't know. What if they did like this? Check. No, it's not check. <laughs> but then we would take. They would take with their queen. We would take. It would be check. We would capture here. Uh, this is mighty interesting. Do I care? We don't have a whole lot of time. Take. take. You know what? I think... I'm, step one, I think we have to take. Then we would take, take with the queen, take with the queen. Don't even think about it. Just take with. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter.
We love it. Okay. Times are tight. Is basically bullet. Do some pre-moves. I hear you all the time. Everybody's saying do some pre-moves. They're always saying do some pre-moves. Put yourself not on... That was a really good move. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a good one. <laughs> oh no, we won. We did not deserve to win, except for the fact that hey, that's how time works. I'm sorry to tell you, I did see that we had five blunders in there, but again, that's the kind of game I'm more interested in playing. Hey, if, if, I mean, I was the shorter one on time for like the whole game. So I'm not going to act like, uh, you know, a, a time. We were content with the time loss. We did at one point, we had a five point advantage. Wow, this is crazy. We had a six point advantage. They had a maiden six, which is really hard to see when you're, you know, so, so fast. <laughs> or you got so little time. All right, so let's walk this through. This is super weird. They actually do consider that that black has a small advantage here, probably like close to imperceptible, but okay. So like, did we play this? Yeah, I mean, we played it reasonably well. They prefer e4, which is again what we tried to do. So I'm vindicated somewhat. Um, everything's okay. Very even game, but it's even despite the fact that we're up by a pawn, which should tell you something. So th here, this is like the move they did not like. They think that's okay, but they prefer this. Okay. Do they do that next? No, because don't we hold on? What do we do then? Is this one of those? Is this one of those situations where we can like uh, destroy them? It apparently it is. They pretty much have to go back. We get a lot of tempo. Why can't they go anywhere else? Well, I mean, I, I guess they you know like I mean, you could go here, but then I start chasing you around, and we get this, which is not. Like, it, it's not blocked in the rook there, but still kind of annoying, right? Um, uh, anyway, that's not the way it went down. Everything's still fine. They do think black has a small advantage. This is where it went totally wrong. This move here is not good. They prefer the b4 push, which we eventually did. <laughs> they like it. They like it. They actually like that. They actually like that, so I, I started to I started to work myself slightly out of it. Then they prefer the pawn capture. Okay, I can understand why. And then they're like, "This is horrible." I wonder why they like uh, b4 instead or c4. Sorry, they take. We take. They take. It's so it's like a positional thing. All right. Is the, it's not a, a trick or anything like that. Um, okay, so we, we got a little bit back there. They much prefer h4. They took the pawn for free. We take the pawn. They're like, what? Yeah, this was not a good move. Then they're like, what are you doing? Um, I don't know. I mean, we had the capture. I guess like a fork is kind of nice, but we already have the capture. So I'm, I'm surprised it's such a big difference here, like a 1.4 different, but whatever. Um we're still losing, amazingly. At this point, I super thought we were winning. Um, they they hate a lot of what happened here, but that's why it's fun. <laughs> They're like, we hate it. We love it. And then where did our huge advantage... That's our huge advantage, which is just like, what are you doing? Time was getting tight. Now, this was a missed win. What we should have done is just take. Okay. And then they probably do that. Yeah. And I, I mean, yeah, it looks good. I guess then we would just take. They would be forced to take. We would take. This situation is very similar to what ended up happening, but still. Okay, so we, we reinforce with a pawn, which they do not like. In fact, they think it gives black the advantage again, which is surprising. And then this is a missed win. And then we do the same thing. And they're like, you're, you're killing it. You're crushing it. You're amazing. Then they're like, what the heck? You, you threw it away. We made about 17 bad moves in a row. And now they're like, black has the advantage again. Which makes sense, because I literally did blunder away my piece and like all my pawns. And then we won on time. Wow. Um, undeserved, but hey, we got it. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to check on our baby. 
All right, well, deservedly or otherwise, we came out with a win. <laughs> it's always nice, I guess. In some ways, it's very nice to win a game that you thought you should lose, because then you're like, oh, I'm due for a win this time. All right. Iskak 77 from Chile. Let's do this. Please play knight to f6. Levy taught me all sorts of interesting tricks. We're going to play the Trompowski attack. You do knight to e4, to which I reply h4, and you go, what the heck? What the? Okay, so no matter what, according to Levy, no matter, you could leave this hanging, but we actually like the take. Because if it doubles pawns here, it's fine. If it doubles pawns here, it's fine. Um, well, then let's not leave it hanging. Now, we've traded our dark square bishop. What do we do? That Levy, you mad genius. Instead of playing e4 to control the center, we play e3. And we start locking up the dark squares so this bishop is trash city. Like, that's just horrible. Um, we'll probably get our knight out there. And then, Levy will, uh, he will slap me <clears throat> if I don't at least consider the queenside castle followed by a kingside pawn push. That way... We can start to dismantle this, like, cursed structure over here. This is the kind... And I'm so glad, like... I want to push these pawns anyway. Like, if you if you want to take, please do. I would love to get your, your light-squared bishop off. I don't really want to push you right now. I'm content with this. So I'll just take this square for myself. Um, this is what I wanted out of my, my last lesson with Levy, and I'm glad that it worked out that way. Um, I want to create more weirdo positions and then have an actual plan uh, of attack instead of just like running over and being like you know let's close this game up as soon as possible this is a really good move um i really like it because it it, it does give the prospect of improving this bishop in the future um obviously we could like close this down i mean they're not going to do that they'll probably do this um which is still pretty bad for their light squared bishop. But then they push this and they actually got this diagonal back, which I think is pretty good for them. Um, do I. I mean, I don't really like the. I don't really love letting them take, to be honest. And if we. Especially if we're going to keep our, our king side. You know, we're not going to castle king side in all likelihood. We're going to castle queen side in order to. Um, start to be able to push these pawns a little bit more freely. I don't know. I, I actually feel like maybe it's a situation where the... Like, well, let, well, let's walk it through. If we're worried about the diagonal opening up, can they still do that? Yeah. We kind of have it... We have it blocked off pretty decently, but... I don't know. I feel like we, we let them capture. I'll be interested to see the analysis for that. Certainly, I think we take with the pawn. And then I start, I start to get really cheeky ideas like, okay, knight to h4. Uh, now, I, hold on, I got to look at it. Okay, so this, now it's like this, this pawn is pinched, but at the same time, I'm like, you're forked. That seems like a horrible move. Um, but I'm also forked, so what do I know? Um, I guess we just go here. So he's going to trade the knight for the bishop, which is actually like really strong. Um, we had to go here to defend against this. It's an interesting move. Now I'm like, we got to castle uh, kingside. <laughs> Here, I still, I really like that. Because um, we, we don't want the bishop there. That's a bad spot for us. We can get some tempo. Um, yeah, I feel like now we actually much prefer the castle kingside. And we'll still try to like push this f pawn at some point, for sure. I do expect they will do like, I don't know. I don't think that move is very good. Well, maybe it is actually, because they will... Uh, Yeah, actually, I think that move is really good. If I push, it's... I mean, we get... No, it's bad. Honestly, this is going to seem insane. We can always reinforce this pawn if we have to. I really think we go g4, which looks horrendous. But it reinforces this that we got here. It allows us to... I mean, we can move the knight at any point. But it allows us to push f4 and then f5. Um, and it, obviously, like, they're going hard here. Um, one thing that we could do, we could ignore their plan. 
because our plan's kind of slow. We need a little extra time. Their, their plan, by the way, is like this, and then probably they would take, and I would take, and then they would have this uh, open file right here. Um, they also could push, but what do I care if they push, right? So I think we it might be worth reinforcing. I think if we're going to reinforce, we have to reinforce now. They do this, I do this. If they want to take, then let's do it. We do have to worry about our knight in the future, though, from this attack right here. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so they don't want to they don't want to leave the tension unresolved. They're threatening this, which actually is fine by me because I'm like, you know what? I want my knight to be there anyway. So that we can move our pawn up. And then we'll try to push f4, f5. And this is a very very dynamic game here. This is a very interesting game. Our overall attack. I hate that they have the bishop pair. I think we screwed that up maybe a little bit by not puzzling out the lines in the mid game. Um, but we want to use our pawns to bust up this king side. It looks like a closed game. It's actually like extremely dynamic. Let's let's walk through like if I were them. This this. I would I would leave the tension unresolved. I would probably try to push. There's no reason to push that yet. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Um, <clears throat> they really benefit from the take. From if, if they take, let me put it that way, they really benefit. One thing we could do for now, we could do F3. They take here, we like it. It does make their king side appear a little stronger because their doubled pawn got traded, but um, we we really do not like that. <clears throat> and I, I don't think I like this, 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 this at all. I think we do this, and then it's pretty simple. If they take here, we do that. And we like that we have the open file here. This is actually like a very good pressure point for us, I think. We do it again. The knight is kind of concerning. Um, I wonder if there's like a way that we can get this knight <laughs> into a position of relative strength at some point. I don't know. Um, so we, we do want to, I mean, there's not really that much more to push, unfortunately, but we're kind of like in the mood. Um... So I, I do like this. It just keeps like these pieces locked in here for the time being. Now, again, the knight. But we have to figure out what we're going to do with that guy to begin with. I don't, have, I don't really have a good answer. This piece is kind of trash right now. Um, this is one where I'm, I'm very excited to look at the computer. I think we made a mistake around that fork earlier. We have to be careful. Like, I want to triple cover this line. Right now, it's already triple covered as well, but... This is one of those, like, do I care moments. Obviously, they have, like, a fork, but it's not really a fork because they're not going to do this. Um, we knew we wanted our knight out of here anyway. The only question for us is what's the best line for our knight? That's kind of okay. Three moves to move one square over. Like, what else are we going to do? Okay, two moves to just be there and then have no control. I mean, I don't know. Are you going here next for a check? Maybe. I still think like I don't I don't like Oh, that's a really good move, actually. <laughs> it's like a highly superior move. Um We kind of have to allow the either the capture like we can't take, obviously, because we'll just get taken. So that was that was a really strong move from them. Um Full stop. I mean, it was just impressive stuff. Um, 
But you know, as humorous as it may sound, I think it opens up a little bit for us as well. Like they're up a pawn, two pawns. We hold on. Take. Take. They're not gonna take. They're not gonna take. What are they gonna do? It's a good question. They're still kind of locked in. I was just gonna say this pawn becomes like very difficult to defend. So what if we did this? They're probably gonna go here. I'm not too worried about like the the pawn getting promoted just yet, which maybe is like famous last words. Um, what we could also do is this. And then the check is kind of blocked in the first place. And we've defended against this uh, potential move. It does still lead to a pin. But like when the piece that's pinning is more valuable than the piece that's pinned, we don't sweat it as much. And we could also move this over, but it doesn't block the check. So, And, and the other thing is this also threatens the, the tripling here, which is something that we're looking for almost as like a little checkmate trick. So I, I would say for sure, I would say black has the advantage here. Um, but I, I think that we're not far from where it gets very interesting for us. So we, we had a feeling something like this was going to happen. If we're walking through what happens next. We don't love the tripling, just to be fair. Um, but I do think, uh, I mean, especially the way this is outlined right now. What if we did this? Are you going to go here? I would rather lock you in. So here's here's my game plan. Check this out, right? Here. And then, like, we can't uh, actually capture the pawn, admittedly, because we're pinned. But um, we do something like this in the future. And they, they're in a bit of a, a trickier spot. And we're always threatening this pawn right here. So we're kind of like, again, I don't want to... I mean, sometimes it's probably mathematically wrong. I don't want to walk into situations where they attack, we defend. I can't, whenever possible, when they attack, I want to accelerate the attack. So we knew that this was coming. Um, I think you just have to go here. I hope I, I didn't really think that one through, so I hope that's not wrong. But I mean, if they go here, we take. Or actually, no, if they go here, we take. They promote, we take. What do we do? Oh, so again, we still can't do that. <laughs> but if we could, that'd be sick. So they kind of get they get some free moves right here, I would say. But if we do this, then it becomes a little more troublesome for them. It's still really hard for them to break in. And we always have this threat. This accelerates it by one. This accelerates it by one. You know, we're we're stacking up a lot of a lot of pain for them right here. Again, I still I I have to imagine if you're looking at the computer right now, it's probably like blacks up by a lot. Um I think that if they want to trade, um it's very good for them because it then opens up this incredible line right here, um, which is admittedly really bad for us. So this is one you have to kind of puzzle the way out of. Um and I guess, to be honest with you, the way I would puzzle the way out of it right now looks a little bit like this. Then it becomes mighty interesting. What if they do this, for example? Mm, then we say thank you for the free win. We still don't have mate here. For for a varietal of different reasons. Um, I, I don't know if we really like the capture here. This, this is a thinking man's move. Let's just put it that way. Um, do we like this? I think we like super like it. And then if they take, which I think is horrible, we just take with the knight. Although it does leave the queen uh, as, a, as like a discovered attack situation. 
I mean, like now it depends. Whatever they do, like we we're gonna have a chance to just keep like pushing this pawn down their throat. Like, a, admittedly, hold on. Like I can't do it just yet because if I do it right here, take is bad. It's, like I don't even need to think about it. It's bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm like something like this is starting to tick. We don't have a ton of time. I think it's well known. Um, I, if they push, I don't care. So I think we move up one. Now we can just take the pawn. We the knight here is powerful, but like it, it, we don't have to do it right away because they're not going to push. It's just a free pawn. So they move their uh, bishop to here. Quick swap. Never hurt anybody. Again, times of the essence. They take with the pawn. Unless I am a fool, this looks totally fine to me. They protect this pawn. Um, we don't want to push this yet. We want to get our knight in there. Very losable game, just for the record. Still very losable. Wouldn't take much. We can now push the pawn. Do we like to? I think we do, because watch this line, okay? Let's say they do something. I don't know. Maybe they'll do like this. Okay, I don't know. They probably wouldn't because it would leave this open. But then we push the pawn. They do something else. We don't know what that is yet. <laughs> All right. I mean, this is still like, oh yeah, this is bad enough that we need to get out of there for sure. Um, you, I don't think you push the pawn here. You could also escalate the threat though. Like, what if we? No, because they, then they they'll have an attack on our uh, queen. So I think we go here. If they want to do this, I'm, I'd be a very happy man. We can do this, and they would they would find something, I think, but interesting. Obviously, like, you can see what they're going for here. Um, I think we can move our king back to here, which I know looks really bad, but we have the, uh, we have the rook army here. I think, here's what I like. I think I like this. No, I think I like this. It depends what they do next. If they do this, we love it. Yeah, okay. Do we like this? No, we don't really like that anymore, honestly. Um, and again, I can't stress enough, time is very much of the essence. I know you're like, you could fool me. I think we start maybe here. And then see if they want to do this. They do not want to do this. Do we care? We're probably not thrilled about it. So we're my main goal right now is just to keep the pressure on. Force them to defend this. Come over to here. Move the knight. Push this pawn. I don't know where this is coming. But time is time is pretty tight. <laughs> we should have the advantage right now for sure. It's just a it's a puzzling end game. Let's put it that way. Um, we do that, they cannot take. Then maybe we do something like this. Especially if they were to fall back like too much. Okay, next step we go here. This was surprising. I would absolutely trade. If we're not trading, we have to start threatening. Well, they could just take that. It's pretty bad. Yeah, okay. That was actually substantially worse. <laughs> what? This is where you just say, like, we got super lucky. So we don't want them to be able to go here. I would love the trade. Please do. What will you take? Smart. <laughs> it's just the right decision. Um, let's, uh, let's just move back one. Time is very tight, obviously. 
We could just, at this point, we could pretty much just check them into oblivion. But that's not, like, it's not the way I like to live my life. Consider myself a more principled gamer. We did win, though. So that's two wins on time. I'm not necessarily super proud of myself. I'm not like, oh, what, a, what an amazing gamer I am. But those, those are wins just the same against higher-rated opponents, I might add. So let's, let's see how this went. I imagine this is another graph that's very up and down. <laughs> and that's what I like to see. Okay, look at this, man. We were still up by 14 at the end. But um, when you don't have time to think of the end game, things get, things get tight for sure. 31% accuracy. I never had a choice. Okay, so this is this is an opening levy Tommy called the Trumpowski attack. The, basically, the way that you want it to go is like they do that. Then you do this. Uh, and then if they take, you take. You're really threatening this move right here. Um, which is like, let's say they did that, which I don't think is a book move, probably. Probably instead you would do maybe like that. Um, is my guess. Um, and I'm just taking a guess, right? And then we do this. And then you go, what the heck happens after that? I know they say, like, it's not so good. Or the, the book says it's not so good. But maybe maybe first you do, like, hold on. Maybe you do, like, this. They do that. Then you do the. I can't remember. It's something like this. Anyway, that's not the way it went down. But it, it leads to a very dynamic uh, and strange style of game. Allegedly. So it went something like this. Um, they like our position because of the doubled pawns. They think e3 is a good move. Everything was pretty standard. Through the opening, as standard as it could be given the circumstances, they they think that that was a pivot point for uh, black, which I actually think is completely fair. Now they're like, "What the heck are you doing here?" They are not a big fan of that. They do not like that either. Why do they? Why do they want h1? Because they think that we're about to get pushed in on the king side, which is fair. But I, you know, I got lucky. They they stayed focused on their queen side attack. We wanted to move this so we could move our f pawn up. I, I stand by that move. They hate that. They say, "What the heck are you doing there?" Um, they think we're down by a piece, even though we're even. Should show you about how good our position is right here. <laughs> but what the heck happened? Uh, it just gets worse. But then c two, they're like, "What the heck are you thinking?" They love that. They do not like that at all. What a, what a confusing game we've got here. They're like, what? Now they like our position. What, what is, what's wrong with this move? They want it here. Why is this so bad? Oh, because can't you just like do that and then all of a sudden all my pieces are off this? Let, let me guess. So like we do this. No, they hate F4. All right. It's very common for me to... Get that wrong. We have missed a win. Okay. That is a missed win. This is a win? That's a win? Really? Okay. Either way. This is an interesting one. They're like, what are you doing? Well, you know what I'm doing? We have like a minute of time left. So just chill out. That's what I was doing. Now that they were like, what? Like, why? And I, I agree. Now this was just like, what are you doing? They could have taken my knight, and then all of a sudden we're pinned. And then they're like, what are you doing? So everybody made some mistakes when the time crunch happened. But for now, uh, I'm pleased with that. Two wins on Christmas morning, no less. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!